What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye Whiskey. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye is the company's third rye whiskey release. Their first release was the Unaged Rye in 2012 and their second was the Rested Rye in 2014. Jack Daniels created their first new mash bill in 100 years to create their rye whiskey. The whiskey is aged in the upper portions of their rickhouse where it is exposed to dramatic temperature variations. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye being reviewed today is from barrel number 157472, bottled on 121015 from rick number L2. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye Whiskey is a brown forming product that is distilled at Jack Daniels Distillery. This is a non-age stated whiskey, but we know it is at least four years old because it is not stated on the bottle. It has a mash bill of 70% rye, 18% corn and 12% malted barley with a 47% ABV, 94 proof and an MSRP of around $50. Let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one guys is pretty cool. It's a decanter style bottling. The cork on this one is synthetic. It's got a wooden top. It says hand selected single barrel right on top of the cork. Right here on the stem of the neck, it does give the warehouse location, the date it was bottled, and the bottle number right here on the stem of the neck. The front of the bottle right here, of course, says Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye Whiskey. And on the back, it tells a little bit about the flavor profile of this whiskey. Pretty cool bottling. It also has Jack Daniels embossed right here in the bottling. Pretty cool bottling. It is a nice looking decanter style bottling. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, check out the color. The color on this one is a dark amber color. Pretty dark whiskey. I don't think that's so much due in part to the age. I think it's more of the fact of the warehouse location. It is in the upper portions of the rickhouses. And that is allowing it to be exposed to dramatic temperature changes. And that allows the wood to contract the whiskey and expand and pull the whiskey in and out of the wood a little bit more being exposed to those dramatic temperature changes. It does have a nice color to the whiskey though. We are gonna check the viscosity. I'm gonna swish it around in the glass just a little bit just to see how viscous and oily this whiskey is. And it is clinging to the glass fairly well got a decent viscosity to it. The legs are kind of thin and running quickly, so it's not super viscous, but it does have a nice viscosity to it and a nice, beautiful color to the whiskey. With that being said, let's get into the nose. Right away on the nose, I'm getting a banana and cherry note. Yeah, bananas and cherries some caramel, some baking spices, a little bit of clove and rye spice, of course. And, and a definite nice oak note, but it's like a charred oak note on the nose. It's not nosing like your typical rye. A lot of your typical ryes have bent dill, black licorice. This has none of that. It's definitely unique, especially the banana cherry note. Not so much the banana. I typically get banana notes on Jack Daniels products, but the cherry and the caramel, and it, it, there's just not a whole lot of rye spiciness or the typical notes you would get off of a rye whiskey in this whiskey. But in saying that, it's definitely unique and a pleasant nose very approachable and pleasant. Yeah, that cherry banana note, very nice cherry banana note. You are getting a little bit of clove and baking spice and rye spice in there. And that, that charred oaky note is definitely nice also. Nothing's really standing out, it's very well balanced. And there is just a tinge, a little wee bit of an ethanol sense, but nothing to really kill the nose, but there is a little bit present. Once again, very unique 
interesting nose you're getting bananas and cherries caramels a little bit of baking spice clove rye spice and a nice charred oak note on the note on the nose very nice and interesting nose to this whiskey let's get into the taste cheers first sip nice buttery mouthfeel banana note a little bit of caramel it's finishing off a little bit of an oaky rye spice note i would say the finish is middle of the row on the first sip but it does have a nice buttery mouthfeel to the whiskey very pleasant and nice first sip let's go in for a second cheers Now that my palate has become more accustomed to the whiskey, more acclimated, it's kind of following suit with the nose, not drinking like your typical rye. There is bananas and cherries and caramel on the front of the palate. The, the caramel's getting drugged through mid-palate, and you are picking up a little bit of clove and rye spice on the back of the palate. And it's lingering caramel, rye spice, and oak on the finish. The finish is drying out a little bit, but it has maintained that nice buttery mouthfeel. Very unique and different rye whiskey to say the least. Very nice second sip. Let's go in for a third. Cheers. Nice, consistent pour. I say it's a medium body to the whiskey. Nice buttery mouthfeel. It has maintained the mouthfeel. Drying out still on the finish. But front of the palate, you're getting bananas and cherries. Mid palate, caramel getting drugged through to the back of the palate where you're picking up that rye spice and clove and a nice oak note on the finish. It is the charred oak note we were getting on the nose, but it is very consistent with the nose. It is not drinking, nor was it nosing like your typical rye. There's no mint, there's no dill, there's no black licorice. Definitely a different and unique rye whiskey, but pleasant and enjoyable to say the least. Very nice third sip. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye Guys, it's definitely a different and unique rye whiskey experience. If you're looking for mint, dill, black licorice, this is definitely not the case with this one. It's definitely not drinking like your typical rye. It does have a 70% rye content in the mash bill, but that dill, that black licorice, that mint, that high heavy heat that you typically get from a rye spice, it's, it's just not there in this. But it is a very pleasant and enjoyable pour. So if you're looking for something unique and different in the rye world, I think the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye is the way to go. Now pulling the trigger on a non-age stated rye whiskey, this is from a company that hasn't been doing rye for that long. They just put out their first rye in 2012. I totally get it. That is a pretty steep price on this whiskey, but I think if you are looking for something different and enjoyable in the rye whiskey world, I think this would be a good choice. Definitely a good, enjoyable, and pleasant pour of rye whiskey. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I wanna thank you for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.